Well, we start at Manchester United, where the deadline for the second round of bidding for the club has now passed. Yeah, the Glazer family want a reported £6 billion to buy United. We understand at least five interested parties have submitted bids. Uh, well, here, as always, to keep us up to date with matters at Old Trafford is our chief reporter, uh, Kavi Solokol. Um, Kavi, we understand you've got some new information for us about that Qatari bid. Yes, uh, big news. Sheikh Jassim from Qatar uh, has made a new improved world record bid for Manchester United. The bid is debt free. The bid went in uh, before the 9 p.m. deadline. It went into Rain Group, the investment bank in New York, who are running the process. The deadline was 5 p.m. Uh, New York time, which is 9 p.m. here just a few minutes ago. And Sheikh Jassim believes, uh, it's my understanding, that he has made the best bid. Now, I think the reason for that is the bid is debt free. Uh, and he believes that the bid is the best bid for Manchester United. It's the best bid for the fans. And it's also the best bid for the community. Uh, because, look, he has to spend a world record sum to buy Manchester United, probably around £5 billion at least. And then he's got to spend between £1 and £2 billion on redeveloping the stadium. He's got to spend on the squad. He's got to spend on the training ground as well. So this is a massive investment that he is making and he is ready to do it. Also, uh, I'm hearing that we've been reporting, lots of other people have been reporting that there are going to be five, six, seven, maybe eight bids. Some of the main bidders are thinking that that's not the case. Uh, some of the people close to them think that, you know what, that has just been uh, some bid theatre to try and get the Qataris to uh, bid against themselves, in a sense, to pay more than they need to. So I think the situation is that the Qataris are very serious about buying Manchester United. So Jim Ratcliffe is also very serious about buying Manchester United. I haven't had uh, confirmation that his bid has gone in, but I would be staggered if his bid didn't go in uh, before the 9 p.m. deadline. Uh, I've been told that that bid was definitely going in. So Qataris, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, and I think there will be a few other offers going in as well to buy minority stake or uh, financing offers for different parties uh, involved in the process. But look, really big, significant news. Sheikh Jassim still totally committed. We're being told 100%. He wants 100% of Manchester United and he's got the money to do the deal. But this is a note I made. The big question is, are the Glazers really serious about selling the club? <laughs> do they really want to sell the club? That is uh, the big unknown still. OK. Uh, you mentioned him there and he gave us a little bit of information. I wonder if you can kind of flesh it out for us a bit more. We know that there, there's always been, for a while now, two front runners: Sheikh Jassim, Anthony Jim Ratcliffe and, and, and Ineos. What more can you tell them about, uh, about their bid and, and you know, how that compares to Sheikh Jassim's? I think as far as Sir Jim Ratcliffe's uh, bid is concerned, look, he's somebody who's got the money to be able to afford uh, Manchester United. Uh, how do we know that? Because of the fact that he's one of the richest people in the UK. Uh, he tried and failed to buy Chelsea. He was willing to spend up to four and a half billion pounds on Chelsea. But I think the issue for him that makes it a bit trickier is uh, what's been going on uh, in the banking sector for the past few weeks. Uh, two US banks have gone out of business. The second biggest bank in Switzerland uh, has been taken over by the biggest bank in Switzerland. Uh, the share prices of banks have been falling. So the question people are asking is, has it made it harder for Sir Jim Ratcliffe to raise the money he needs to buy Manchester United? Has it made it uh, more complicated? I think probably it has made it a little bit more complicated, but I still think he's in a position to be able to finance a deal for Manchester United, no problem. But of course, the Qataris don't have that issue because they don't need to borrow any money uh, to buy United they have the funds in place to be able to do the deal. So I think that is the difference between the two bids at the moment. But having said that, you know, the information I received is that Manchester United were very impressed with Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his delegation uh, when they visited Old Trafford and Carrington uh, on uh, Friday. It was a very high-powered delegation uh, that went along with Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Obviously, you know, they own Nice as well, so... 
they know a lot about the football business and they've got investments in lots of different sports uh, so they would bring that expertise to the table as well but I just think it's difficult to get into a bidding war uh, with people from Qatar although having said that uh, I'm being told the Qataris look they're willing to overpay for Manchester United if you look at Manchester United's share price today uh, I think it's up another six seven percent uh, to about $25. It's gone up 15% in the last week. The market cap of Manchester United is around £3.5 billion. Uh, and the Qataris are, are, are willing to pay more than that. But again, is it enough for the Glazers to sell the whole club? So I guess the question now is, Cavi, what does happen next? The bids are in, nine o'clock has passed. When will we actually know if any of these have been successful? How many more times are we going to put a countdown clock back up in <laughs> the, another in the wall? Got another count uh, Look, I think what's happening is uh, some very well-paid bankers uh, at Reigns headquarters uh, in New York uh, uh, looking at their emails now, checking out these bids, looking at the numbers, and they will be evaluating the different bids and they will be discussing with the Glazer family on what the next steps should be. This is going to take a, a few days. I think there will be developments next week. Uh, we could find out next week whether there is going to be one preferred bidder or will there be more than one preferred bidder? And will we have another uh, round of bids? Uh, some of the bidders, as I started off by saying, uh, are pretty convinced that there are not as many bidders out there uh, as people think. And it could end up being just a straight fight between Sheikh Jassim and Sir Jim Ratcliffe, with also in the background these offers of uh, financing mm. or offers for a minority stake, which uh, the Glazers may be more interested in than selling the whole club. Hey, can I just ask you, just on, on the Sheikh Jassim situation, you, you made the, the, the metaphor before about it being like, like sort of buying a house. But could it be a situation here where he's decided to make a bid to try and take it off the market completely. It's like going above the asking price so that you don't have to go best and final because other people could then potentially outbid. Is it that kind of level of bid that yeah, we're talking about? Um, I don't think he's going to make an, uh, I don't think he's going to make an irrational bid. Yeah. I think he thinks that he is the favourite. And I think that he thinks that if the Glazers are serious about selling and they are serious about selling for a good price plus a premium because it's Manchester United, then he is ready to do business. And he thinks he is in a much better position to buy Manchester United than any other bidder out there. But of course, it's a difficult balancing act because he doesn't want to throw money away. He doesn't want to sign a blank cheque to the Glazers. And you always have to bear in mind, we talk about the Qataris having unlimited wealth. Uh, you know, the Qatar Sports Investments owns PSG. PSG own uh, valued at around three or four billion pounds at the moment. People forget that the Qataris bought PSG for 70 million pounds. <laughs> My goodness. It's like a drop in the ocean, isn't 70 it? 70 million pounds yeah. they bought PSG for 12, 13 years ago. Uh, and yet here we are with them, not QSI, another party from Qatar, mm. uh, willing to spend around £5 billion. And let's not forget, that would be an incredible return for the Glazer family because we have to go back to their leverage buyout of Manchester United. They only ever put in about £200 million uh, of their own money. So if they were to sell it for £5 billion, it would be an incredible return on their investment. OK, Gabby, for now, thank you very much indeed.